Every enigma I delve into involves an unsolved paradox that has puzzled scientists for decades. To this day, no one can explain how an ordinary planet in the Milky Way's arm became a haven for life. A 2022 article in Nature Communications posits that all essential organic elements for forming the first living molecules arrived on ancient Earth via carbonaceous meteorites. However, this fails to clarify how separate inert fragments transformed into complex DNA structures. Digging deeper into the universe's past reveals more paradoxes. Piecing them together implies that not just us, but also Earth, our galaxy, and the universe itself shouldn't exist. This leads to the central question, how did the world as we know it emerge from practically nothing? Our entire solar system, including Earth, shouldn't have taken its current form. The European Space Agency posits that our home isn't just one planet, but the Earth-Moon system. The Moon's immense influence on Earth's processes is due to its unusually large size. Ganymede, Titan, and Callisto are the only larger moons orbiting gas giants Saturn and Jupiter. While the origin of these moons is simple to explain, the moon's presence in Earth's sky remains a mystery. They were totally lost in their finding. Have you ever felt like dealing with injury claims is like being lost in a nebula of paperwork and frustration? Fear not, for Morgan & Morgan has harnessed the power of the cosmos to revolutionize the entire process, bringing ease and simplicity right to your fingertips. Morgan & Morgan's 21st century law firm has launched a new era in injury law. With just eight clicks or less, you can submit an injury claim and have a lawyer review your case from the comfort of your own personal space station. Well, you're home. No need to traverse the universe in search of lawyers or be buried under a meteor shower of paperwork. Their modern approach means you can access case details, sign contracts, and upload documents and medical records all from your interstellar communication device. Stay connected with your attorney and legal team via text as you embark on your legal journey through the stars. Picture this, you're involved in a terrestrial car accident. Your mission priorities are 1. Ensure your well-being 2. Secure a police report 3. Contact your insurance and 4. Obtain legal representation. So when you find yourself injured in an accident, remember that Morgan & Morgan is here to help you navigate through the legal cosmos with ease. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without ever having to leave your couch. For more information, go to ForThePeople.com or dial pound law that's pound 529 from your cell phone. Stay safe and may the force of Morgan and Morgan be with you on your legal adventures. Now, let's move on with the video. One potential explanation is the giant impact hypothesis, which suggests that a Mars-sized planet called Theia collided with Earth 4.5 billion years ago, leading to the Moon's formation from ejected debris. However, lunar soil samples collected by astronauts have never shown any differences from Earth's rocks. To explain this and other oddities, Dutch astronomers Robert de Meyer and William Van Western proposed a nuclear explosion hypothesis, suggesting that an explosion involving Earth's radioactive elements, primarily uranium and thorium, ejected a piece of Earth that later became the Moon. Our solar system is peculiar with four small rocky planets, including Earth, followed by four gas giants. Similar planet distributions have not been found orbiting other stars. Most planets discovered in other star systems are larger than Earth, referred to as super-Earths. The formation of our solar system remains a mystery, with various theories failing to fully explain it. A recent alternative model proposed by astrophysicist Rajiv Dasgupta and Andre Isidoro suggests that the solar system's protoplanetary disk resembled Saturn's rings, with gaps that can explain many peculiarities. However, this model creates a new problem. The protoplanetary disk itself formed from a cloud of interstellar dust and gas, which required an extraordinary combination of external forces to shape. The origins of countless galaxies scattered across the night sky are a perpetual puzzle for astronomers. The age of elliptical and spiral galaxies led to contradictory data, with elliptical galaxies appearing younger than spiral ones. Interacting spiral galaxies, globular clusters, and galaxy mergers provide some insights into their formation, but many questions remain. 
The James Webb Space Telescope has confirmed some theories by capturing images of a 9 billion year old proto galaxy forming globular clusters into a disk. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we strive to unravel the mysteries of our universe's origins and the countless celestial objects within it. While searching for evidence to support galaxy evolution theories in the young universe, scientists discovered something that cast doubt on them. In its first year, the James Webb Telescope captured dozens of ancient galaxies with their formed disks. This discovery, though impressive, has left astronomers puzzled. These galaxies appeared between 200 and 400 million years after the Big Bang, which seems too early for galaxies to have disks. When galaxy evolution theories don't align with observations, scientists often attribute discrepancies to dark matter. This mysterious substance barely interacts with ordinary matter, but for scientists' calculations to work, its amount needs to be five times larger than the observable stars and galaxies. Dark matter has helped explain why galaxies spin so fast without breaking apart. According to modern science, massive halos of dark matter surround galaxies and provide stability. During the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, dark matter existed as detached clumps around primordial star clusters. NASA simulations can only reproduce a universe similar to ours if dark matter is included. However, by relying on dark matter to explain galaxy evolution, scientists have encountered another problem. There should be more dwarf galaxies orbiting the Milky Way than currently observed. This discrepancy, known as the dwarf galaxy problem, remains unresolved. Furthermore, when astronomers measured the mass of ancient globular clusters, they found it consistent with the mass of their stars, suggesting they contain little to no dark matter. This contradicts galaxy formation theories. Moreover, the presence of numerous supermassive black holes in the universe has puzzled scientists. In the early universe, black holes with the same mass as stars could merge multiple times, eventually forming supermassive black holes like Sagittarius A asterisk at the center of the Milky Way. However, recent discoveries have revealed even more massive black holes that are billions of years old. This suggests they gained their immense mass in just 800 million years after the Big Bang. To explain the early existence of these supermassive black holes, some theories propose that stars in the early universe were fundamentally different. Known as Population 3 stars, these ancient celestial bodies formed from primordial gas clouds and dark matter clumps. With a mass thousands of times greater than the Sun's, these short-lived stars could leave behind black holes with corresponding masses. One outlandish theory suggests that these black holes were born inside their host stars while they were still alive. Known as quasi-stars, these mysterious objects had masses so large that normal nuclear reactions were impossible. Instead, their cores would instantly collapse into a small black hole. Despite this seemingly fatal event, the quasi-star would continue to exist. Continuing with the study of these quasi-stars and the mysteries surrounding the early universe, researchers are trying to uncover more about their unique characteristics. The sheer mass of these ancient stars allowed them to collapse into black holes while still burning, which seems paradoxical. Their cores collapse into black holes didn't necessarily mean their demise, as they could continue to exist for some time. These early black holes could provide a key to understanding the rapid growth of supermassive black holes in the universe. The seeds of these massive black holes might have originated from the remnants of quasi-stars or the direct collapse of massive population three stars. Their rapid growth could have been fueled by the accretion of surrounding gas and dust or through a series of mergers with other black holes. Another factor that could have contributed to the formation of these supermassive black holes is the cosmic environment of the early universe. During this time, the universe was denser and had a different composition, with primarily hydrogen and helium. This environment allowed for the rapid growth of both stars and black holes, which could have led to the formation of supermassive black holes at a much earlier stage than previously thought. Furthermore, the evolution of galaxies in the early universe might be more complex than initially assumed. 
The role of dark matter in galaxy formation and the presence of ancient galaxies with formed disks might indicate that our understanding of galactic evolution is still incomplete. The influence of dark matter on early galaxy formation and the existence of numerous supermassive black holes in the early universe suggests that there are still many unanswered questions and challenges to be addressed in the field of astrophysics. As scientists continue to explore the mysteries of the early universe, new telescopes and observational tools will be crucial in uncovering the secrets of galaxy formation, dark matter, and the nature of supermassive black holes. These discoveries will not only enhance our understanding of the cosmos, but also shed light on the fundamental laws that govern the universe's evolution. The quest for knowledge continues, and with each new finding, we move closer to a more comprehensive understanding of the universe and our place in it. We often think that black holes consume everything in an instant, but they too have limits. Instead of directly swallowing matter, it first spirals into an accretion disk, gradually feeding the black hole. In the case of a massive star, the black hole devours its host incrementally over hundreds of thousands of years, eventually destroying it and seeking new prey. Quasi-stars could be as massive as a million suns, which suggests that supermassive black holes formed just over a hundred million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers have yet to discover a single population three star, even with the Webb telescope. Studying the early universe is challenging, but scientists can use calculations and simulations to gain insight. The Cosmic Microwave Background CMB, provides clues about the universe's beginnings, but questions about the origins of matter still linger. Antimatter existed in the early universe alongside ordinary matter, but no evidence of antimatter galaxies has been found. Physicists are dissatisfied with the theory that the universe appeared out of nothing and continued to develop new explanations. One such theory, proposed in 2022, suggests the universe and an anti-universe were both products of the same Big Bang. However, the dual model is difficult to confirm experimentally and is largely rejected by modern physicists. Instead, they theorize that an unknown quantum phenomenon destroyed some antimatter in the early universe, leaving enough non-annihilated matter to form space. But even if this phenomenon is identified, the central mystery remains. What triggered the Big Bang itself? As scientists continue to explore the origins of the universe, they employ advanced tools and techniques to uncover the secrets hidden within the cosmic microwave background and the early moments following the Big Bang. To better understand the formation and evolution of the universe, they investigate the processes that led to the creation of matter, the emergence of stars and galaxies, and the distribution of dark matter and dark energy. One of the intriguing questions puzzling researchers is why there is an apparent imbalance between matter and antimatter in the universe. Theories abound, but a satisfactory explanation has yet to be discovered. Some scientists propose that the asymmetry might be due to undiscovered particles or interactions that took place in the early universe, while others suggest the existence of hidden sectors of the universe where antimatter is more prevalent. In addition to the matter-antimatter conundrum, the nature of dark matter and dark energy remains an enigma. These mysterious substances make up the majority of the universe, yet their properties and interactions are still largely unknown. Researchers hope that new observations and experiments, such as those conducted at the Large Hadron Collider and other particle accelerators, will shed light on these elusive components of the cosmos. As technology advances and our understanding of the universe deepens, we may eventually unlock the secrets of the Big Bang and the complex processes that shape the universe we inhabit today. From the formation of the first stars and galaxies to the interplay of matter and antimatter, the early universe holds the keys to some of the most profound mysteries in the realm of astrophysics and cosmology. Unraveling these enigmas may ultimately lead us to a more complete and coherent understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Modern physics can describe the universe's development with considerable detail up to 10 to 43 seconds. This time span is comparable to one second as a proton is to the observable universe. It may seem close enough to the Big Bang to uncover its nature, but that single moment is where our physical theories fail. The early universe was subatomic in size, and under normal circumstances, quantum physics would apply. 
However, this situation involves all possible particles in our world packed into a tiny space, subjected to primordial gravity. While we can apply gravity to stellar systems and galaxies, we don't understand how it works on a quantum scale. Applying Einstein's general relativity to individual particles results in infinite masses and energies, yet quantum physics might hold the key to the Big Bang's nature. In 1973, American physicist Edward Tryon proposed that the universe might be a quantum fluctuation. These spontaneous energy bursts occur at the subatomic level in empty space and immediately vanish. They don't violate energy conservation laws since they last for an incredibly short time. Curiously, this time span matches the least studied era of the early universe. In 2014, scientists at the Wuhan Institute mathematically demonstrated that quantum fluctuations in a large enough space could fail to dissipate, instead expanding exponentially. This suggests that the Big Bang and the universe could arise from nothing, rendering the question of causation irrelevant. Everything we see, planets, stars, galaxies, could be a spiraling incident. Nobel laureate Roger Penrose proposed an even more mind-blowing hypothesis that the Big Bang-inducing quantum fluctuations occurred in a previous universe. Penrose noted that the equations describing our universe's early moments resemble those describing one possible future path, the heat death. Trillions of years from now, stars, galaxies, and even black holes will have dissipated, leaving individual quantum particles in cold space-time. In this state, time seems to freeze as each moment is indistinguishable from the previous one. The Big Bang also lacked time. What if these two conditions are linked? Imagine a cold, dead universe shaken by a spontaneous fluctuation leading to a new Big Bang and the cycle repeating. This idea resembles cultural myths of a continuous cycle of world destruction and rebirth. If this happened infinitely, we may never reach the true beginning, assuming one exists. Are we living in the first universe, or one of many? As we explore the depths of our universe and its origins, we must ask ourselves, are we living in the first universe? Or are we part of an infinite cycle of cosmic birth, death, and rebirth? This question not only challenges our understanding of the universe, but also our very sense of existence and reality. The scientific community continues to investigate the nature of the Big Bang and the mysterious quantum fluctuations that could have led to its inception. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge, we may find that our universe is just one of many, connected through time and space in a never-ending cycle of cosmic evolution. If this is the case, it raises new questions about the nature of reality and our place within it. Are we unique, or are there infinite variations of ourselves and our history in different universes? How do these alternate realities interact and influence each other, if at all? As we ponder these questions, we must also consider the incredible journey of scientific discovery that has led us to this point. From the earliest days of astronomy to the groundbreaking theories of relativity and quantum mechanics, humanity has come a long way in our quest to understand the cosmos. The pursuit of knowledge is a fundamental aspect of the human experience. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the universe, we not only gain a greater understanding of the cosmos, but also of ourselves. Our journey into the unknown pushes us to challenge our preconceived notions, expand our horizons, and redefine our place in the vast expanse of existence. In conclusion, whether we live in the first universe or one of many, our pursuit of knowledge and understanding of the cosmos will continue to drive us forward. It is through this relentless exploration and curiosity that we can hope to uncover the secrets of the universe and perhaps our own place within it. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey into the origins of our universe and the mysteries it holds. If you enjoyed this cosmic adventure, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more mind-bending explorations of the cosmos. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date on our latest videos and discoveries that will continue to challenge our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Now to embark on another space adventure, simply click the video on your screen. Together we'll dive deeper into the wonders of the cosmos and uncover the secrets that lie hidden in the vast expanse of space. Once again, thank you for your support, and we look forward to having you join us on our next journey through the stars.